All right, gang, we're going to talk about section 3.4 in our Pearson Savas book. And this is classifying rigid motions and glide reflections. So we're just going to start with classifying rigid motions. Remember, a rigid motion is a transformation that preserves size and shape. So what we want to do is figure out if there's a rigid motion. So those would be, so a reflection, a translation, or a rotation. So can I reflect this in one reflection and get it to match A prime, B prime, C prime? Can I translate it? Can I slide it left or right and get it to match A prime, B prime, C prime? Can I rotate it and get it to match A prime, B prime, C prime? And really, the answer here is no. There is not one single reflection, translation, or rotation that will match these two images onto each other. So now our question is, what composition of two rigid motions will map these two images onto each other? So if I'm going to compose them, remember I'm going to do one and then the other, what two rigid motions might I put together? Since A is kind of to the left of B and C in the black image, and A prime is to the right of B and C in the red image, it looks like this would be a reflection. <clears throat> so one of the ways we can kind of determine this is we can look at the distance between these two figures. So the distance between, say, C and C prime just along the x-axis. So we're only looking along the x-axis. So the difference between a negative 3 and a positive 1. So if we're looking at those ordered pairs. So from negative 3 to positive 1, there's a dif distance difference of 4. So half of 4 would be 2. So I want to move 2 to either the left of C prime or 2 to the right of C to find that line of reflection. If I do that, I'm going to get a line of reflection right here at x equals 1. That's going to be my first transformation that I'm going to apply to A, prime, A, B, C to get to A prime, B prime, and C prime. So I know I'm going to reflect over the line x equals 1. Well, even after I reflect over that line x equals 1, I'm still not on top of that image. So I have to compose it with another transformation. And the other transformation is going to be to slide it down. So I need to slide C down to C prime. And so C is already at 1, and I need to slide it down to negative 4. So that's a translation of 5 units down. So this is what it's going to look like. So we've got a translation of 0 negative 5 right here. That is my translation um, to shift it down. And then I've got a reflection of x equals negative 1. Now remember, when we do um, over the line x equals negative 1, when we do these compositions, we always go backwards. We work inside out. So we're going to start with this guy, do that reflection first, and then do this one. And that's how I've written the two problems. This has a special fun new name. This is called a glide reflection. Sometimes you'll be trying to map the images onto themselves, and sometimes you'll be applying a glide reflection to take a pre-image to its image or its new space. So the composition of a reflection followed by a translation. So it does have to be in that order, translation, reflection, when I'm writing it, or apply the reflection first and then do the translation, is a rigid motion that is called a glide reflection.